Sears told you at six with breaking news, the Socorro Independent School District Board of Trustees has voted to ask for the appointment of a Texas Education Agency conservator or conservator management team to work with the district. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for choosing KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. So what this means is this region's second largest school district will now be overseen by the TEA. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto joins me right now tonight. Skylar, can you break this all down? What does this mean for Socorro ISD? Well, Monica, first off, this isn't an ideal situation, okay? So in a press release sent to us by Socorro ISD, the TEA conservator will work to support district leadership and the Board of Trustees in overseeing operations of the district. Now you might ask, what is a conservator? Well, they have the authority to direct an action of the Board of Trustees, superintendent, and or campus principals. A conservator may also approve or disapprove of an action. So Skylar, question, when does a conservator get involved? Okay, so a conservator uh, gets involved, and according to the TEA Texas website, a conservator may be appointed in part, quote, if a school district or charter school fails to satisfy accreditation criteria, academic performance standards, or financial accountability standards, or on the basis of a special investigation. Now, the last TEA state conservatorship in El Paso was back in 2012, when EPISD was placed under conservatorship due to poor leadership and a cheating scandal. The TEA even had the board replaced. The local control was returned to EPISD in 2015. Now some background on SISD. The district has 47,000 students and is facing a more than $30 million deficit. And just recently, the SISD superintendent, Dr. Nate Carmen, was selected as lone finalist to serve as superintendent in a district in Arizona and will, believe, will be leaving at the end of this school year. Now, the SISD board president, Michael Najera, saying in part, quote, there have been numerous reports to the TEA and subsequent investigations which have brought scrutiny to the district. The accusations and assumptions have clouded perceptions of the management of the district. It is no secret that the district has been facing challenges and we want to do everything we can to remove any skepticism in the leadership of our district administrators, end quote. Now, I spoke with a 19-year veteran teacher in the district about what this would mean for their district, saying it would limit teacher creativity. A seven-year veteran teacher says it's obvious our school board members are in need of assistance in finding a solution. I'm just not sure this is the best idea. Monica, back to you. Thank you so much, Skylar, for that breakdown. And yesterday, the SISD board agenda listed case numbers for eight separate TEA special investigations between 2020 and 2023. However, they did not provide any details about those investigations, except for one into whether students were allowed to graduate without meeting state requirements.